The one and only Xalophony here with Mario to learn pendulums. I am lost already, um, but you've told me a little bit about how to use pendulums in the past. Gonna be honest, I didn't listen a ton because I didn't know I'd actually have to use them, but for the upcoming season of Fight Club, pendulums are allowed? So we're gonna have to learn what they do and how I can potentially counter them. So we're starting with some nice normal monster dinosaur pendulums that I should be able to understand the concept easy enough. Certainly not a competitive deck by any means, but uh, Mario, nope. what can you tell me about all this? Um, I wrote, when Zylo asked me to teach him a bit about pendulums, I was thinking, what is the simplest one? Because a lot of the current pendulums are kind of a little complicated and honestly a bit of out of the meta because of the new Link format. Kind of broke them a bit. But okay. in the current format, we're actually using the older one. No Link summonings are enabled in this. Yeah. So, but basically, um, you have your vanilla dinos right here. Uh, basically, a lot of them are simple enough to understand. Mm -hmm. Low. Uh, do you see the numbers at the top, at the bottom of the corner arts, right above yeah, the, the attack like point? Yeah, the sevens on the uh, Lance guy. Is that the one you're talking and, about? Yeah, the sevens. And then on the next one, you see three, right? Threes, yeah. When you have both of these on the field, you don't want to have the same exact monster. That's actually a bad thing. Okay. But, but let's say you have the, a seven and a three. That means you can special summon between those numbers, not the not the exact numbers, but between them. So four and six. And can you special summon any monster, or is it just any pendulum monster? Any monster that reach that has that criteria of level and does not require to be special summoned by other ways. Okay. And another thing about pendulum monsters is they don't go to the de to the graveyard normally. They go yeah. to your extra deck. That confused me at first. Um... But they go to your extra deck, and then sometimes you can do stuff with them there that you couldn't do in the graveyard or something. Uh, sometimes they have effects in the in the extra deck, but mo most mainly is that when you pendulum summon again, you can bring them from the extra deck back. Okay, so you can just special summon them as if they were in your hand or something. Basically. Okay, I like that. Rather, I don't and... like that, but <laughs> we'll continue. <laughs> and then uh, pendulum monsters have two effects. There are normal effect monster techs, and when they're in the pendulum zone effects. Mm -hmm. But in this tell, particular but... example, um, they're not effect monsters, they're just normal ones, right? No, and that's actually another thing is, do you see that they're half colored? Half yeah. the uh, vanilla and half the blue? Yeah, that's the case with all pendulums, right? Yeah, they're because while they're in the pendulum zones, they're also treated as spell cards. Okay, so if you use a mystical space typhoon, they're gone. But also if you use a monster yeah. destroying effect, they're gone. Yeah, they're okay. treated as a spell card. So things like anti-spell for grants, mystical space typhoon, things that counter spell cards in general also count towards pendulums canceling. Gotcha. All right. Uh, yep. Uh, basically, uh, this is just a vanilla dinosaur. You know, you got your Urbies, two-headed King Rex. Yeah. So I'm guessing you just kind of want to be able to get like a level seven and a level two or three on the field, then just spam these level fours out there and cause more havoc than your opponent can. Oh, yeah. All right. Seems simple enough. Uh, I think I'll learn quite a bit of it, just like actually getting into it and seeing where I can play these cards. So, want to get into it? Sure. Let's do it. Duel. Let's see what you got. Ha <laughs> ha. Fist bumps. Mm. Yay. There we you go. broke my fingers, man. All right. I'm going to let you go first, just so I can see what your opening play is, though. Because I'm learning here. Right. I'm learning. Never used pendulums before. Okay. I think uh, let's do this. Ooh, level two. That's good. Or uh, what is that called? The number on it, so I don't call it level uh, two. Uh, scales. Scales. So second scale or scale of two? Uh, scale two and scale, scale seven, two I believe. Scale seven. Okay, we'll go with that. That sounds easy enough. Yeah. Then, uh, then you have a little highlighted thing that allow you to special summon. So any monsters that meet between the two numbers, you can special summon. So. And are you like unlimited amount? Oh jeez, you are. Oh jeez. Any monsters that reach the criteria, yeah. Ooh, those are level fives in there too. That is awesome. Or yeah. yeah, and yep, and then you can go right into like one of your favorite monsters, the Volcosaurus. Yep. That's the one. Oh man, <laughs> that is something fierce. All right, so let's see what I got. Um, for my pendulums, I got a scale two and a scale three, so. Nothing Not the easiest them. start. 
Um, but I'll activate a Heart of the Underdog, which is one of the benefits of running a deck with all normal monsters in it. Majority of them, yeah. Um, and I guess I should play... Uh, should I activate the level 2 right now, or should I, like, hold on to it? Normally, you would want to hold on to it for a bit, unless it has a good effect, because... Okay. Let's say oh, your wait, opponent this does has have like a pendulum a... effect. What is the difference between an effect monster effect and a pendulum effect? Uh, the pendulum effect is on the top rather than the uh, bottom one, but pendulum effects only activate when they're in the pendulum zone, not when they're on the field. Mm. Gotcha. All right, so this one, it says if this card is activated this turn, you can target a spell, a trap card on the field, and destroy it. So I could take out one of your pendulums. Ooh, that's actually good. Let's do that. So I activate it into the pendulum zone. During uh, the end phase, yeah. All right, uh, let's see. Yeah, during the end phase. Okay, so I guess I'll just put a monster on the field to defend myself, because that's all I can do for now. And end my turn there. So now I can activate his pendulum effect and take out any of these. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the lance, because as far as I know, the higher scale seemed a little more difficult. Yep. And okay. right there... As you can tell, they don't go into the graveyard when they're destroyed, they go into the extra yeah. deck. So if you... Oh, but the thing is, I remember you saying, if I get another level 7 on the field, you won't be... Because it has to be between 6 and 3 in this case? For you to special uh, yeah. summon him? So but he is... He is 7. 7 on there? Um, will you be able to bring out the 7 from the extra deck, or no? No, no, no. The 7 is okay. not the levels themselves. That's just their... That's just yeah, the, scale. the scale. The monster that's itself is level 6. Oh, okay, so it's, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, gotcha. Now, let's do this. Because I have a rank 5, I can go right into oh, Gaia geez. Dragon the Thunder Charger. Alright. This guy inflicts oh, piercing. Oh, piercing, nasty. So it's just that little guy right there. Hopefully I can draw a normal card, prompt my heart of the underdog, so I can get myself back on track here. Yeah. You have so many vanilla monsters, it's going to be hard not to draw into one. Yeah. Ha! But I managed to do it! What did you draw? <laughs> a second heart of the underdog. Alright, um, so if I do have a second pendulum, I probably don't want to play it, right? Because is there a way for me to just remove the pendulums from the field myself, mm, or would someone unless... else have to do it? You can remove it yourself by using a spell destruction, but that's okay, the but only way. Yeah, there's no standard way to do it. Okay, so mm -hmm. once again... Oh, jeez, I think I've lost. Yeah, like I said, this is a very basic one. It's not competitive. <laughs> it's just teaching you pendulums. Yeah. Otherwise, there would be, like, some counter traps in here, other things like that. Yeah, of course. And uh, what kind of counter traps are good against pendulums? Like, you said stuff that, like, targets spell cards. Anti-spell fragrance. But... Yeah, that's a good example. But what about just like a Solemn that everyone runs? Would Solemn work when you try to drop one mm, of those out? It would, it would stop the Pendulum summoning. So when you put someone in the just... monster zone, it would stop that, but not you putting them in the Pendulum zone. Oh, but the optimal thing against them, if you want to stop the summoning themselves, is actually Bottomless Trap Hole. Because the Pendulum counts as one summon, and when all the monsters come out and you activate Bottomless, it actually gets rid of every single one. Okay. Because they count as one summon. Okay, and that gets rid of all of the ones on the field, not the pendulum zones? No, because, gotcha. like I said, the monster, when they're in the pendulum zones, they count as spell cards, not the monsters. Alright, they count 100% as spell cards? I believe so, so I've like never actually seen it. Destroy it, it will not work against them? Yes, because when I was okay. at, when I was looking at Volcasaurus, and I tried to look at it, see if I can target a face okay. count, it did not give me the prompt to even target pendulum, so gotcha. they count as spell cards. Gotcha. Alright. Go and come at me. Well, I activate the pendulum. Ooh. Yeah. Get the free summon of him. Yeah, you're yep. in easy shape now. Alright, this will have to be another round, because that's unfortunately a Tyranno Infinity with zero defense points right there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Not the luckiest draws, but we threw Tyranno Infinity just for the fun of it. Yeah. Even though and it wouldn't let's necessarily your... normally go with this deck. Oh. Yeah. Just like you wouldn't really go for this if this was like the Fight Club. Like if you got yeah. dinosaurs. This Definitely. wouldn't be the one you would go for. Yeah, because effects are just good. But this is an easier way to learn them. So we can just work on the pendulum effects. Then we'll learn about stuff that has multiple pendulum and monster effects. Ugh. 
Um, yeah, so the pendulum them effects right into the fire. only go off when they're in the pendulum zone, and the monster effects only go off when they're in the monster zone? Is that what it is? Yes, because they count as both okay. spell and trap cards, but they only count as one if depending on the zone they're in. Gotcha. Okay, so I have a better hand this time. I wouldn't say... Um, no, actually, it is much better. It's essentially... Oh, no, it's not much better. Okay, it's still good, though. So I'm going to drop a Heart of the Underdog. And I can activate... Let's see, I got two levels... I got two uh, scale 7 guys. This one has no pendulum effect. And this one does have a pendulum effect, so I'm going to use this one. If a normal monster, you control battles uh, and for piercing it. What? Oh, that's oh, okay. the Lantosaurus. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's actually pretty good. Because mm -hmm. all your normal monsters just inflict piercing damage. So let's say you have like a blue eyes white dragon. No matter what happens, he's always going to inflict piercing damage. Gotcha. And uh, this one's effect isn't really going to help me this turn. But I'll also, for the other pendulum zone, drop him. So... Um, two and seven. So you can now special summon between three and six. Yep. So I'll do that. That's all I got. Okay. Well, and you did have a heart of the underdog, so that's a potential yeah, so full hand. That'll hopefully give me some mid to late game advantage. Okay, because I just drew the right card. Ah, oh, come on! Because <laughs> I only had one pendulum monster. <laughs> okay. Oh, so you're about to get a bunch of monsters out here. Yep. Alright, so you activate that effect to pendulum summon all these guys. Oh man, normally not useful at all, but you can get all the level 4 guys out you want. Yeah, and you know what, this time I'm just gonna, since I have a dead dragon horn hunter, which makes it so, even if I bounce off you, I'm not gonna take any. Oh, that's cool. Because I do have defense yeah. on this dude, so... Yeah, thanks to the dragon horn hunter, uh, mo vanilla monsters don't deal any damage to each other. Nice. Alright, but now you're probably gonna bring something out. Yeah. Hmm. Question no, is No, I'm what assuming, like, though? Lagia would be a shout against, um, or Dolka, one of the two, would be a good shout against these type of guys. Um, yeah. Because then you would stop me from, like, pen Pendulum special summoning things. That's the thing. I don't know if Lagia exactly works against Pendulum, so this is actually a test for myself. Yeah, we'll learn. Yeah, because that's a special end. summon, so... We'll find out. Alright, sweet. Heart of the underdog. Give me a draw. Nice. Alright, I'm in good shape now. Hey, <laughs> this is gonna keep going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. This is where this deck uh, shines, when you can do this. Funny enough, I didn't get on either of my draws last game. <laughs> um, but okay, so now, uh, theoretically, I just activate my lance to special summon or yeah yeah a little special summon notification there so yeah. let's do uh and let's get ooh so yeah i think if you cancel this it'll do it all now can i use we're about to find out if i can use the special summon effect multiple well oh you can uh, okay so we're gonna actually do and you can do it now you use both your materials so let's do this. Let's get you guys out there, because that would be enough. I'm yeah, it you can, can activate. activate. It. And I'll probably take them both out if I'm right. Yes. Yep. Nasty. All right. Um. Well, one thing I can do is I can go ahead and normal summon, just like a normal old person. Mm-hmm. And bring out just a Yurubi, which means I can bring out some sort of monster here um now let's see i believe laggy is the toughest thing in oh no there's a dark rebellion which should work here yeah let's do it i like lagia but right now i need to be able to take out your lagia because if i brought out my own laggy you would just have a trade next turn and it would be a win for you so yeah. let's go ahead and activate it so i can take your attack I think it works like that. Actually, as common as a card Dark Rebellion is, I've like been hipster about it and been like, oh, I'm not gonna use it because everyone else uses it. I have to say, that's why I haven't used it myself, nor Tornado Dragon. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now, uh, um, I guess I kind of wanna, does Lagia keep his reduced attack points? 
Yeah, it's permanent. Alright, so I'm just gonna attack your two-headed king rex, so it's one less level four monster you have on the field, so you have less. Yeah, and options. it's not a pendulum, so it's going to the grave. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And then I believe I will set one card and end my turn. Alright. Okay. And I didn't burn all my possible summons because I knew you were gonna cancel them, so I still have more monsters in my hand. Yeah, gotta set this in defense mode, activate just a pendulum summon. Alright. Just to set this in defense mode. Okay. So, you're just laying out some defense right now. And normally, you know, oh, a trap would do. be scary, but I'm pretty sure there's uh, no scary traps in the deck we have set up right now. So, I think we both have a survival instinct on the field. Or you might have survival of the fittest. I don't know. Mm. Either way, it doesn't make any difference for what's on the field right now. Yeah. Um. Let's see. No. Okay, that time I drew but something no. that wasn't. So now I think I can freely pendulum summon everything I want. So I guess now is theoretically the point where I fill the field and try to end you this turn, huh? Yeah, go for the OTK. Alright, well. Hard. I don't know, you still have 8,000 life points. I guess it counts as an OTK. Alright, um, so... Normally, I'd pull out a Lagia or a Dolka just to protect myself in case you did have a trap there that would harm me. Um, you know, I'm just going to play it like I would if I didn't know exactly what cards you were using, so I'm going to do that. Um, oh, wait, they're not dinosaurs, so I can't do that. Gotcha. Nope. Um, anyone else that would be good here? What's the Star Leech guy do? Detach. Um, let's see. To target one face at monster your opponent controls. I don't care. Yeah, let's just go attacking things because I can destroy the field, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so, uh, Flash Knight, let's destroy the cannon. Nice. Let's see. And if a normal monster you control attacks a defense position monster, so I don't want to attack with Dark Rebellion, I want to attack with Lance. Because he would count as a normal yep. monster? But unfortunately, I do have to... Oh, we know. I think this is actually going to inflict piercing damage now. Yeah, yep. there it goes. Yeah, Dragon Horn Hunter, I thought it was going to protect me for a second, but then I realized, oh shoot, actually that's not a vanilla, so. Yep. <laughs> and there's that, and I think that'll bring you down the rest of the way this turn. Yeah, I guess it will. Alright, so this will bring us into a third round where you can just try to not beat Not so me. fast. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, you got some dinosaurs in the grave. You'll probably live this turn. Never mind. Yeah, you get just enough. Can I hope for a card, heart of the cards to draw? <laughs> uh, what? I don't think there's anything you could pull here, is there? I'm not sure. I'm hoping something pulls out. Tyranno Infinity even will only give you 3,000. Yeah. And aside from that, like, a Lance might be the strongest monster you can pull out. Because there's uh... no, like, effect Hail Marys in this deck at all. What are we, bring yeah. what are we bringing out? Yeah! Already. Oh yeah, you get to bring him back out as well, so... Eh. Yeah. I guess you could have potentially got out another 5. Level 5. Destroy a Flash Knight. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I have a... Let's see, yeah, Survival Instinct. I also got Survival of Fittest in my hand, but I was like, I got one dinosaur on the field, so... Not super important. <laughs> Kill the Rebellion Dragon. <laughs> no! Not my Rebellion Dragon! Oh yeah. Oh wait, that's right, I don't take any damage. That's pretty cool. <laughs> And, no, nah, I don't care about your heart of the underdog. Let's get this moving. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Ooh, I can activate this guy's effect from that pile. Oh, wait, I can just use my effect here to special summon him right back, can't I? Yep. Sweet! Like I did nothing. <laughs> yeah, and now I can go ahead and bring out the black ship of corn, Cuz corn. I don't know what that thing does, I'm not going to read its effect, but it's a ship made out of corn. So, I'm into it. <laughs> and, oh yeah, still no damage. Alright, do it. Finish him, please! With a dinosaur. Yeah, that Dragonhorn Hunter's pretty sweet. I like him. Yeah. Alright, so I guess let's uh, do a final match here. As I'm learning the basics of it. Now, obviously I'm still going to need to learn how to 
Oh no, I think I can differentiate the effects between Pendulum and regular Monster Effect. We got the concept down. All right, yep. so uh, Heart of the Underdog again. I'm pretty reliable at drawing that. Um, but do I have any good starting power here? I have enough. Yes, I think I got a great setup. So we're going to start by putting out, what's the level seven we want to drop? I have no f nothing with Pendulum effects, but I can get the summoning power I need. So let's go ahead and yeah, let's activate you for our scale seven and you for our scale two which means I can freely special summon two dudes, one being the Saber Source, the other being a Flash Knight. Oh wait, they're not both Dinosaur. I was like saying, and I'll bring out uh, Lagia, that'll stop you. But no, I can't do that, so. No, because Flash Knight's a warrior. Yes. Okay, so is there anything I could do that would slow you down here? I think most of these cards are offensive, aside from the uh, Dinosaur Dragons. So, yeah, like I said, this was supposed to be simple, not exactly overcomplicated. Yeah, uh, I can try a silent honor arc. Never used that card before. It has to do with special summons. We'll learn. <laughs> yeah, if I had a special summon monster, you could easily just detach both overly units and just take it and attach it to itself. Yeah, so we'll see how that reacts to pendulum stuff. Because that is technically special summoning. It is, but... But I, wonder if... I think it's only going to get one, though, is the downside. Ooh, so you got the full setup as well. And you got the pendulum yep. effects. Nice. Alright. So can I prompt my effect? Well, it's not letting me prompt it now, so... No, it's because it's something you want to bring out on your turn. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's not when you special summon it. Okay, I got it. Yeah, let me just show you how. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> hey, like, I'll, I'll be a good teacher, show you how, by completely wiping your dude and taking him for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, heart of the underdogs on the field. I may have cleared my hand, but there's still potential here. Yeah, the, as you saw, you could easily refill your hand with this deck using heart of the underdog. Mm -hmm. But there are, like, yeah. six traps in here, so we'll see. There's two and of the two other. No. Yeah, so there's two. Yeah, there's four traps and two spell cards. Everything else will give me part of the underdog effect. Oh, there's one. Ooh, that's a survival of the fittest on the floor right now, or very well could be. So I got to be careful with your lance. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, obviously I'm filling my hand right now. Okay, good. I got two level fives. That's exactly what I needed for this situation. Dang it. Because <laughs> that is a survival of the fittest right there, isn't it? It might be. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to prompt it, man. I'm going to use my Volcasaurus effect. <laughs> Are you going to deck yourself out? <laughs> I can't. There's there's traps in there eventually. You can look, the more say cards no I to it. <laughs> you can say no. I can summon them anyway. Why say no? There we go. I got Tyranno Infinity. All right. Well, oh, that's what you were hoping for. <laughs> let's go. Uh, well, I can't get rid of them at all right now. So I definitely want to get my two level fives out here. So you and you. Oh wait, no, I just clicked the same card twice. All right, so you and you. And then let's get some just like level fours out and some power. You and who else? Yeah, I guess we'll just go for these basic ones. Yeah. I don't exactly know what everything that's coming out is, but I'm hoping that two of my level fives that I hit are in there. Alright, there's one, and there's the second. Alright! Volksaurus only needs level five. He doesn't specifically need dinosaurs. <laughs> um, right. So, he'll go ahead and do that. That's one of the hard parts about bringing out Volksaurus with a dinosaur deck. There's so few level five dinosaurs. So... Yeah, which is um, why you didn't see him that often. Exactly. <laughs> so now I could bring out a Silent Honor, and with effects I'd be able to clear your field. But I can just attack as well. Actually, no, I can't take out Silent Honor Arc, because I can't attack when I use the effect. So let's just go ahead and bring something else out. Um, ooh, Dark Rebellion? That might be fun, just for the damage. 
Um, but no, I think I'm going to bring out my own Lagia here because I can and it'll set me up so I'll definitely win next round. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of it. I just accidentally picked the strongest one. Doesn't make a huge difference though. Alright. So now I can just go ahead and activate your effect and get rid of that. Okay, so when I um, when I use this XE material, it goes to the graveyard, I see. Yeah, it does. And, oh, yeah, I can normal summon as well, too, can't I? <laughs> sure, why not? Yep. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. And nope, Hello not going to use my own effect on myself. But we will go into the battle phase. And, oh, yeah, Volcasaurus can still attack. So I didn't need to bring out Lagia, but I would have anyway, just for safety. Because now whatever you draw, yep. it's not going to make it onto the field. Well, you can normal summon, but it's not going to make the difference. Um, oh, you can burn that to do it. Okay, so I did need the extra attack. Good. Yeah, I was hoping you weren't going to notice that. <laughs> <laughs> well, just playing safe like I kind of wanted to do anyway uh, made it work out. But you have another round, but with Lagia on the field, I don't think there's anything you can do. Um, Infinity could come out, but then I'm then you have to take it. Nah, he couldn't. Wait, no, nah, he could. Yeah, you get Infinity here. If that's... Not um, the card I think it is on the field, though. I drew the best monster. Oh, boy. <laughs> First bring that out, and I... Yep. Since he <laughs> is strong enough yep. to be a threat to me, I gotta get rid of him. I activate survival instinct, okay, banishing so... the one dinosaur. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, you only had one dinosaur in there. Yeah, the other two were machines. Yeah. And then I play Heart of the Underdog. Oh. <laughs> little late for that. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, so I think I... Uh, Grit and Heart of the Underdog early is a much weaker start, but it um, definitely helps you survive to the later game and make the difference oh, here. Oh, yeah. So let's finish this with Volcasaurus. All right. Good game, good game. I think game. I learned the basics of Pendulums, and hopefully everyone watching you were able to learn it as well. I tried to... Make sure to ask some obvious questions so we could all learn together. And, uh, yeah. Anything else you would like to say, Mario, before we wrap this up? Uh, other than just make sure to, pay to stay tuned to the uh, future ep videos here. Because like we did just say, Fight Club Season 2 will have pendulums. Meaning yeah. there's a whole new layer of difficulty to this competition now. And it's coming this Wednesday. If you're watching this in the future, it won't make sense. But it's very soon. So, Fight Club. Season 2. It's going to be intense. Tons of people using pendulums. So, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. It's going to be different. It's going to be scary. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. No magicians. This. Yeah, no <laughs> magicians. They're banned. And other things are banned, but you'll learn about those soon. <laughs> but, thank you everyone for watching, and we'll see you later. Nick. Right.